Good morning. It is Thursday, June 8th, 2023. It is 7.15 a.m. in my locale. Uh, yesterday was work. We had three tours, uh, very small. Uh, I did share a couple of pictures of a very large crocodile that was sitting about 30 yards from the Cary Allen here. Uh, the Florida Bay was very high. Uh, it was slightly higher than it, it's normal, so it kind of flooded over where the beach was, and there she was just hanging out. So that was fun. And Jack's was fun last night, too. A uh, simple dinner, went to bed, got up this morning at about 3.30. That's about an hour earlier than I usually do. Uh... I went to the bathroom, Kezo went to the bathroom, and then we sat down on the bed, and I started to put my head down, and I went, nah, I'm awake. So we got up, and we got started, you know, making coffee, taking care of everything around here. Uh, that's when I found out when I got a shower that my gray tank was full again. I'm not sure what's going on with that. It's supposed to be 40 gallon, but I just can't see it holding 40 gallons. So I don't know whether it's a breather that is necessary that they don't have there. I, I don't know. I have to talk to a bigger brain. But I decided to, this morning at about 6.15, pull the black tank, pull the gray tank, and both the valves are open. And every so often I just run the tap or throw some stuff in the water just to give it a good rinse and a flush. Just, just to keep things clean and groovy. But, hey, got a shower. Trim this. You know, so we're ready for today's work. Let's see what happens. Um, our Zen poem of the day. When hungry, eat. When cold, put on clothes. Even children three feet tall are aware of these things. The teaching beyond doctrine is transparently clear. Why should you have your eyes open and still act foolishly? Someone asked me for one of my course comments, so I wrote out the above gatha as a response. Ishi Bunchu 1608-1645. That is a very simple living answer. When you're hungry, eat food. When you're cold, put on clothes. Small children even know this. And despite how people are acting like small children today, these are the basics, and this is where my uh, personal shaman and, and my brother of over 30 years always says the same thing about me. He goes, you know what? You always focus on the fundamentals. You get right down to the bedrock, and you focus on those, and everything else is just garbage and noise. He said, that's why you win, because you focus on the fundamentals. When you're hungry, you eat. When you're cold, you put on clothes. When you're hot, you take clothes off. And I went, okay, that's cool. You know? Uh, too much now in, the, in this day and age, when you focus on the fundamentals, the, the simple telling of truth. Hey, this is planet Earth. Water is wet in its liquid form. Somebody will come out of the bushes screaming that you are... An extremist, an ist, an ism, or what? These are the people to ignore. At this end of the game, if somebody comes out of the bushes and starts screaming that, my answer is drop them. We have vultures. We have crocodiles. We have snakes. All of these things can take all of those nutrients of that loudmouth and return them back to the ecosystem for positive use. Be humane, but at the same time, you make sure that nature gets taken care of. I think that's a smart thing. If a crocodile has indigestion from purple hair dye, I will apologize. Hopefully, he, he or she will not eat the head. All right, let's go to our daily rune pull.
And we got this is the rune of flow, but it has been pulled inverted. So let's take a look together. First of all, let's talk, I'm not sure we pulled, we probably pulled this one upright. It's Laguz. Flow, water, that which conducts. After the minor flooding across the street, that's a consideration. A warning against overreach and excessive striving. A counsel against trying to exceed your own strength or operate beyond the power you have funded to date in your life. Don't go too far. It often indicates a failure to draw upon the wisdom of instinct. The result is the intuitive side of your nature may be languishing. Yeah, that's the intuitive side is your gut. Listen to your gut. It may leave you out of balance. That's very important. What is called now is to go within and honor the receptive side of your warrior nature. Okay. That sounds to me, you know, the receptive side is what you are receiving. I think now, in this day and age, given the quality of... I can't even call them people anymore. Um, animals in front of us. Uh, putting in a filter to what you're going to accept is an amazingly important thing. That's the intuitive side. You know, what you will accept. Will I accept this? Or am I just going to accept all the garbage that they're throwing at me? Even though it, as we saw before, uh, goes against the doctrine. The when hungry eat and when cold put on clothes. I've heard this phrase a couple times. What are you going to believe? What I'm telling you or your lying eyes? Well, I'm going to take all of my senses and I'm going to believe that more than somebody t standing around in front of me telling me what to do, what to think, where to go, what to eat. Mm -mm. And in 2020, when I was a child, maybe that was important because those people had my best intention in mind. It's 2023 now. These animals do not have your best intention in mind. And the hardest part for me when it gets dark is the, the following thing. They never have. They never will. That makes it really hard. Once you get over that, you're off and you're good and groovy. Little book, let's go. If the Tao of Warfare indicates certain victory, even though the ruler has instructed that combat should be avoided, then you must engage in battle if you, it is permissible. If the Tao of Warfare indicates you will not be victorious, even though the ruler instructs you to engage in battle, not fighting is permissible. Thus a general who does not advance to seek fame, nor fail to retreat to avoid being charged with the capital offense of retreating, but seeks only to preserve the people and gain advantage for the ruler is the state's treasure. Before we pull it all together, see if the man is up. Come here. You up? He's been up since 3.37. Oh, I got the belly. A.M. There he is. Whoa. Getting ready for breakfast. All right. Little snort. Another one. Nope. Quiet man and I get down, we're gonna have the rest of your breakfast in a minute. So, really quick, let's pull it all together. We have a poem that talks about simplicity, logic, reason, nature. You're hungry, eat food. You're cold, put on something. You're hot, take it off. You know, this is all simple. Most of everything is just simple and elegant. You don't have to do anything else. You know, why do you have your eyes open and still act foolishly? Well, somebody will run in and they'll have 
big words and new terms and everything else, and then they change the definitions. That, that's all garbage. Real life, simple actions, simple behavior, simple living is going to get you, and common sense and critical thinking and thoughtful questions, you're going to be labeled something for that, and it's not going to be nice. It's going to be right. It's going to be accurate. It's going to be life-affirming. But it doesn't work in the environment of the things that we're in. These animals out here, they're not life-affirming. As far as I can be concerned, every time I go to town, it's essentially a low-IQ death cult. You know, what are you going to do? I didn't want it this way, and when I was talking, nobody was listening. So I stopped talking. Now they can't figure out why gas is $4 a gallon. Well, you did that. Oh, well, why is the price of food so high? When I was talking about how to not have that happen, you weren't listening. Now you're going to pay more for your stuff, and I'm going to sit there and nod my head and go... All right, maybe next time you'll listen. Who knows? If not, uh, you know, we, we took care of the things around you, and what we did is none of your business. Our rune tells us that we may be languishing in a state of our inability to be receptive. And, hey, given the way the world is out there, I can understand if somebody puts out their hand why you are questioning even going near that. The questions, what are you going to do? What's in it for you? How do I have to take care of myself? They are the questions in 2023. 2003, man, somebody walked up to my house and put their hand out and said, how you doing? I'd shake it and go, good afternoon. Give them my name and ask what I can do for them. Society has really crapped the bed. Hmm. So let's think about, you know, our instinct. Are we going to accept? Should we, you know, we have to be receptive to what's coming in. But we also have to be choosy about what we accept coming in. That's in every part of your life. Including the media you consume, the food you eat, and the people you encounter. And of course... Our little book tells us that the man that wins, the woman that wins, is the one that when the general says, go, and they go, "Mm." it is not strategically good for us to go. No. Or, don't go there. And the general goes, or um, whoever is in charge says, don't go. And the person looks and goes, you know what? We have a tactical advantage. Go. I hate to say, don't listen to authority, but that's the message I get from that. Whoever's in charge ain't really in charge. You are. You're the one on the ground making the decision, seeing all this stuff. You make the call. And if it gets you in trouble, hey, get you in trouble. How'd you do? Did you do pretty good? You probably did pretty good. That makes the person behind you really angry because you just made them look stupid. And my answer is whenever I see that, I didn't make you look stupid. The mirror made you look stupid. That's the way it goes. Having said that, today's plan. Go to work. Uh, Not sure what's happening. we got some stuff going on. More to follow. And uh, it rained a couple times last night, but right now it looks pretty darn good. I was just out there weather looks good because I have to go and push all my um, all my valves in on my tanks and collect up the hose for all the drainage but that's easy and of course be the big guy I have to get my breakfast and then we're going to go on with our day something tells me today's going to be all right because I don't put up with garbage if it becomes silly I just walk away and weather looks like it's going to be pretty good and I have my coffee so I want you guys to all think about that today think about what side of you is languishing are you resisting what's being accepted or are you putting in a good filter 
to what they're pushing towards you? That's an important question. Also remember that, you know, keep to the fundamentals. If it's cold, throw on a coat. If it's warm, take off your jacket. If you're hungry, get something to eat. It doesn't have to be that complicated. We don't need somebody who actually regurgitated a thesaurus to tell us how reality works. We know how reality works. They're the ones living in fantasy. And let's face it, all of you who are watching this were adults. Fairy tales, close the book, put it down. Those are for children. We're adults and we need to live in reality. We need to deal with what's happening now as it stands. And you can and you will. I will see all of you tomorrow, and I'm gonna. Um, I already got a shower, so I'm gonna encode this video and start heating up his food, and then we're gonna go close the valve. So have a good Thursday. Keep it basic. Keep it straightforward. Don't accept nonsense. And know that if someone ahead of you or who's supposed to be in charge of you, thank you, says do something and the tactical advantage is yours to do the opposite, do the opposite. If we've learned anything here, 2023, after all the crap in the last couple of years, experts aren't. Modern medicine is trying to kill you. Make uh, good choices based on that information. And as always, let's sign off. If you don't take care of you, nobody else will. Thank you, Mom. Are they like-minded? Do they share your values? Do they have something to offer? Um or no to any of these questions, ease them down the road. They're not tribe. And we don't have time for that anymore. Have a great Thursday. Go do cool things. Bye.